Hi, I'm Ruth Murray-Webster. I'm a director of Loose Disc Consulting and I'd like to introduce you to this short video clip that gives you some insights into our work on programme management. The clip is about eight minutes and it features some excerpts from a one and a half hour video which features one of my co-directors, Dr Sergio Pellegrinelli, discussing the difference between projects and programmes with myself and other members of the Lucidus team. We use the full video as part of our Lucidus distance learning suite of products and particularly to support people who will take part in our excellent series of learning events. However, anyone can gain access to the full video on a standalone basis. If you enjoy what comes next and you're interested to see the whole thing, then please email us on contact at lucidusconsulting.com. Now, over to Sergio. Hello everyone. Um, as most of you know, I'm Sergio Pellegrinelli. I'm the director of Lucidus. Uh, the session uh, today is about programmes and programme management. Um, I'd like to share some thinking on the nature of programmes and the nature of programme management. Uh, and I'd like to do that by drawing a comparison comparison between projects and programs. As most of you are aware, a lot of the work and the thinking on program management has derived from project management and has been an extension of project management. So therefore, if we establish a common view as to what a project might be, its characteristics, and then try and do a translation. I'm not saying it'll be a one-to-one, -one, and it's a way of doing it, but I think it'll highlight some of the differences and clarify what might be labelled and um, brought about, i.e. worked upon as a project within certain constructs and what might be conceived or think, thought about as a, as a programme and worked about in that way. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, sure. great. Now, uh, projects as, as a management, or project management as a management discipline um, uh, has been around since probably the 40s and the 50s, depending on who you read, okay? Um, really, the, the view is that as a management discipline, um, in terms of codifying practices, developing a set of techniques that underpin the practice, um, initiated in the, in, in the mid-40s and developed largely by, in the States um, with defence and aerospace programmes. Um, and then taken on and increasingly used in, in different sectors. Um, so construction has used project management for many years, information technology and more recently and by more recently in the sort of last 15 20 years um, a lot of change has been managed in the form of, of projects uh, uh, it has provided a structured control process for bringing about desired change and as such um, it's been very attractive particularly if time is pressing resources are constrained uh, if there is an imperative strategic economic imperative to actually get something into place before competitors um, take over a market in a commercial sense or from a social perspective societal perspective the ability to deliver uh, important policy changes at the government level so this is this has been used um, as that um, and it and, and projects and pro project management have been extended to cope with many different contexts and many different um, demands on that. And the more that they have, the more that some of the core tenets, the core aspects of the project have been stretched to the point that um, some people have described it as the emergence of programs as an alternative vehicle of bringing about the change. So um, from a singular, relatively self-contained, to some, in some senses isolated, I mean there's a the, traditional concept of project is something taken from outside your, the, the um, existing business as usual organisation and, and held with separately. But as the changes have not been done outside of the organisation, outside of the working practices, but actually embedded and affecting multiple areas, uh, more and more people are actually turning to programmes. Um, the research that we're currently uh, doing is into a transformation of a, a business. It's a banking business where the, the bank itself is shifting from being a traditional branch-based bank to being a bank that's 
seamlessly integrating branches and the internet and call centers. And as they call it, it's, it's face, face to face, it's call on the telephone, and it's click with the mouse on that. And that transformation has affected every part of the bank's business. Um, did it have a defined objective or a defined scope? No. It, it had to, to evolve. Uh, and they've used program, a program, we've called it a program, they've used program techniques as part of it. So given that, if we can begin to make the translation, I'm going to um, take a very sort of polar, bipolar view of it. We're going to put, think of projects as the traditional sense of projects, not necessarily the fact that most of you will think, well, yeah, my projects don't exactly fit into all these categories. That, you know. this, is, this is effectively a stereotype. It's a, an ideal form, and we're going to do the other side. And we're going to stretch it a little bit to begin to draw out the differences. In reality, it'll, your work will sit in the middle, and you'll have to make decisions and choices in terms of how you bring it about. Uh, fundamentally, Project, project and project management are a method for bringing about some change that you want to do, just as program management. So some choices will, will, be, will need to be made. Okay? So if we think about in a commercial environment, though it does actually operate quite, quite well um, within a public sector environment, and a lot of work has been done by the UK uh, government through it's the Office of Government Commerce to articulate and uh, codified best practices and other professional organisations as well. Okay, so if we look at the notion of program, okay, and look at that, if we can begin just to make a translation across. So, hoping that this is um, given at least some idea. As I mentioned, this this is a stereotypical project and most projects aren't there and some organizations are very mature in terms of how they apply in, ter uh, in terms of the focus on benefits in terms of the recognition of the need to follow benefits to realize benefits okay projects are great okay projects and project management are very useful but we must remember that they the the discipline was evolved in a much more stable period and it was involved in sectors which were central to the organization slightly peripheral okay to the extent that the endeavor the work can be shaped as a relatively standalone piece of work that it um, is set within an environment that's relatively stable or relatively predictable and we can therefore control it this is a great process when we start to use, to, to find ourselves in situations where we are living in unpredictable situations, complexity is, is the word that gets used. I, we cannot predict the future with any certainty. Um, we are likely to have to shift in response multiple things. We need to create another methodology that gives us a degree of control, but also gives us much more flexibility and responsiveness. And I think that's where program management sits, by breaking up what is big endeavor into elements that be, can be controlled. Mm -hmm. Within a program, I think that program management and project management are complements, okay? Because you apply the project management disciplines quite rigidly, quite... Um, I was going to use the word ruthlessly, but I, didn't, I don't mean in a negative sense, but strictly to actually do the delivery. Mm -hmm. yeah? And that's still important, that doesn't go away, and some of the challenges don't go away. But it's just operating at that higher level that says, okay, I've got these units of delivery, now how do I make sure that collectively, in terms of a trajectory, and a tra trajectory in response to the evol evolution of the marketplace or the evolution of societal needs, that that trajectory will, give, will maintain the organisation or, or society vibrant, and utilizing its resources to the best effect.